Well, uh, Holyfield is saying he's coming back to the ring, and Tyson is saying that he's down also. Imagine a... Listen, I just showed Miguel the fucking video of Tyson training, where he's like, I'm oh, yeah. back. That motherfucker... Man, I'm almost... I'm almost... I'm there. I'm there for it. Like, I would like to see that. I would be more ready to see that than a bunch of some of these other fucking heavyweights right now. I think that would be more entertaining. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a hell of a match. And, uh, you know, I wonder who would who would really get it because they're both. Well, I think Holyfield's a bit older. He's like 58. Yeah. Mike is like 53. So Mike got the age. But they showed Holyfield working out. He's doing his... De- Listen, this ain't like... This is strong black 50s. You understand what I'm saying? Like, these are men that have been working out probably this whole fucking time. Like, never really let themselves go, go. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I think Holyfield said he's open to fighting Tyson, but he wants to fight Riddick Bow. Right. That'd be a good one. Somebody said... I think I saw somebody said Tyson... For Shannon Briggs. Mm, okay. Shannon Briggs is a fucking monster, yo. He is, he is, but he never had the career of a Tyson or a Holyfield. That's he never right, had the champion. But he's, but he's uh, fucking, he, he's mad big, he's still in shape, and he's older yeah. like that. So, <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Let's yeah, go. but that, that, that wouldn't bring the fans like a, like a Tyson Holyfield. Yeah, it would. Nah. Yeah, it would. Nah. I mean, nah. Tyson Holyfield, hold nah. up. Tyson Holyfield would be more. But right, if, that's what but I'm if saying. But if all you had to, to, to watch was Tyson versus Briggs, oh, you're watch, we're watching that. No, no, you're, you're, you'll watch that. Tyson against anybody, but then, Tyson yeah. versus Holyfield Yeah, oh, that's going to be super epic. Yeah, yeah, right. absolutely. That, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, Big Meech's brother, Southwest T, is out. Yes. Welcome home. Uh, welcome home. Uh, Big Meech actually tried to get out as well using the same uh, right. you know, coronavirus argument, but they they denied him. I guess he's in for like another 11 years or something like that. Mm. Uh, but Southwest T is out. Uh, you know, entering the world of social media, you know, he's on Instagram getting his hair cut. He's, you know, people calling him now and he's moving around. Uh, you know, and, and 50 Cent is trolling everybody saying that they owe him money. Right. Yeah, which I, I don't I don't think anyone owes Terry any money. No. Like last night. Checked. Come on. That's what fifty <laughs> gotta do. Like that's you know. Yep. And and you're actually an actor in a TV show that's that's executive produced by fifty cent for life. Yes, I had a role on there. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh very good series, by the way. I started watching it. Very dope. Very good series. The lead actor, hell of a, I think he's actually, I think he teaches acting in like Mm. London and shit like that because he's a British actor. I don't know if you knew that, but I got on set and and he started talking in his real voice. I was like, oh shit. Like, that's the second time that happened to me. Like back in the days when I was on Oz and the dude who played Saeed you know, I used to love him as an actor. And then when I got on set, I'm hearing him talking his English. I'm like, wait a minute. Like, you, you're not even American. I was like, oh, this motherfucker's even iller than I thought he was. Like, and so my man Nicholas, he's one of those type of dudes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I had no idea he was British. Once again, the British come in and take all our jobs. Take man. all our fucking jobs, right? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for some reason... Americans can't can't do British accents. Like if an American has to do a British role, I mean, I think uh, I mean, what's his name? Um, who, who plays Iron Man? Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. He did a pretty good Sherlock Holmes with a British accent, but that's very few and far between. Name an American that that did a British role and pulled it off. There's See what been, I mean? No, there's been some. Um, 
ask, what's her name? She said Meryl Streep, but that's not Meryl Streep. Thinking of Meryl Streep has said, done it. Who's the other one who's fucking? Some uh, there's another. I forget her name, man. I got her face right now, but I can't remember her name. But she did a pretty good English um, accent. Yeah, yeah. There's been one or two, but if you go the other way, British actors that came over and killed it. Let me tell you a a a a, a quick sidebar story. So I'm on the set, right, for life. And I'm just finding out that he's from England and they have a dialect coach there. You know what I mean? No, no matter of fact, this is how I find out. Cause they had like a dialect coach on set. And so I make a joke like, oh, you know, what you supposed to make sure, you know, motherfuckers talking proper Ebonics or whatever. You know what I mean? And he's like, he said, nah, I'm for Nicholas. You know what I mean? Who's the lead dude? And he's like, you know, Nicholas from London. I said, oh word, okay. So now he tells me, right, he said for his students to teach them a New York accent, he would play clips of me from Vlad TV <laughs> to teach his fucking students how to talk a New York accent. That's my word. I'm not making this shit up. I said, oh, word? He said, yeah. He said, I use your fucking, some of your clips from Vlad to teach my people how to do a New York accent. Wow, that actually wow. made my day. <laughs> I knew it would. I knew <laughs> I knew it would. <laughs> well, because because when I when I create these videos, I feel it's for historical reasons. Mm. It's for documenting hip hop culture and and certain types of people of this era. Right. And it's designed to be used for projects like Right, but you would never think of something so like that. No, I never, I never thought of you that. That's like a yeah. whole. I feel like you know, book reports and you know, movie documentaries and whatever else in the future, but not, not dialect coaches. That, that's dope. Dope. That's dope. Yeah. And all, for a TV show. <laughs>